New 2017 Mini Countryman set to get hybrid power. Bigger, more spacious Mini Countryman to be unveiled in the coming days with new hybrid powertrain. Mini has officially confirmed its first ever plug-in hybrid model is on the way and it takes the form of the all-new 2017 Mini Countryman. The second generation crossover is due to be unveiled later this month, and many bosses have teased the new model by showing a near-production petrol-electric prototype plugged into the mains. The British brand is keeping tight-lipped about the exact powertrain in the new Countryman, but we expect the Countryman plug-in to use the familiar 1.5-liter three-cylinder turbo petrol engine, with battery assistance. Mini has revealed that the hybrid is capable of up to 78 miles per hour in pure EV mode and long-lasting electric driving although we don't yet know the electric range or power output of the motor. Best hybrid cars on sale right now. We do know that the electric motor powers the rear wheels and the petrol engine powers the front wheels, allowing for intelligent all-wheel drive that activates when grip is lost. Mini is also claiming the chassis and suspension is unchanged over the standard Countryman, with electric components balanced across both axles for better weight distribution. The Countryman plug-in's drivetrain will come with three modes, Auto A Drive to balance petrol and electric power, Max A Drive and a save battery mode. What else do we know about the new Mini Countryman? We've already spotted the new Mini Countryman with barely any camouflage ahead of its big reveal. The Countryman, first launched in 2010, is now the oldest model in the Mini lineup and with the SUV market booming, there's a lot riding on this new model. Prototypes of the crossover were seen undergoing final testing, and our exclusive images show you how the finished product could look when it is revealed. Mini John Cooper Works Review Don't expect the Countryman styling to change dramatically. The existing car is still a strong seller so a radical new design approach isn't necessary. Spy shots indicate that the front end will remain square-edged, yet it'll have a more muscular look than other minis. The side profile will be very similar to the outgoing models, save for a more sloping roofline and chunkier haunches. Rugged wheel arches and lower body cladding will give the newcomer the necessary crossover appeal, too. One of the biggest and most obvious changes to the Countryman will be the increase in size a result of switching to the new UKL1 modular platform used for the Mini Hatch and Clubman. The car is expected to approach 4.2 meters in length thanks to a longer wheelbase, which means more interior space, especially in the rear. Mini is now able to have greater differentiation between its models after trimming its lineup from 7 cars to 5. Aside from the new plug-in hybrid powertrain that's been confirmed, the new Countryman will get the same 3- and 4-cylinder petrol and diesel engines as the Clubman and Mini Hatch. The entry-level Cooper will feature the 3-cylinder 1.5-liter turbo, with the more powerful 4-cylinder 2.0-liter turbo offered on Cooper S and range-topping John Cooper Works models, delivering as much as 2 to 8 bhp.